Hi Scorpio, welcome back to Omkara Tarot and it's time for a love read. Let's see what's going on with you uh, Scorpio, what's going on with your person and what action we can expect now in your love life. And these are general collective readings uh, Scorpio, will not resonate with all of you. Take what works for you, leave the rest. So let's begin. My angel spirit guides, please bless this reading for Scorpio and send them the messages they need to hear the most right now. Thank you. So Scorpio, welcome back all my subscribers. Boy, welcome in newbies. Uh, if you enjoy the reading, do join our Omkara family. Subscribe to the channel. We welcome you in. And uh, if any of you are looking for a private reading, Scorpio, my email is in the description box below. You can reach me there. So as always, I'm setting out two sets of cards here, Scorpio. One side is for you. One side is for your person. And of course, we'll do some dialogue message cards as well. Uh, for the duration of the reading, I will be mentioning them as person A, person B. And if it's your reading, Scorpio, you will recognize yourself uh, to know which side you, you resonate with. Okay. So we're good to go now. What of my spread? I have the card of judgment. This is a rebirth or somebody wanting a rebirth. Uh, the same uh, underlying energy was there for Pisces as well. Strange. Water signs. Okay. All right. So there's a lot of movement uh, with water signs, it seems. A lot of changes are going on. Um, from what I see here, Pisces, let me read out the cards to you. Person A has the seven of uh, pentacles, the emperor. Uh, the Chariot, Page of Swords, Eight of Wands and the Ten of Wands. And for Person B, I have the Three of Wands, Nine of Swords, the Star, Magician, Page of Pentacles and the Eight of Pentacles. So from what I see, there is Person A here who is taking back control of their life. They are not happy with, they are not very satisfied with the way things have turned out I think with uh, in this connection they feel you know all these all this time and effort and whatever that's gone into this connection it really didn't bring me any you know harvest as such and it's time that I kind of take back power take back control of my own life where person B is concerned they are having a bit of stress they really would not want a return of this connection um, but they probably feel their partner is not interested or has turned their back on them and that's giving them a lot of uh, anxiety, sleepless nights, worry, etc. So what's going to happen after that? We will check later. Pisces, let's uh, take some dialogue message cards first to get the ball rolling here and then we'll start our reading. Okay, so uh, Spirit, Scorpio and their person, if they could say something to each other now. Scorpio and their person, if they could say something to each other. One more. Thank you. Okay, let's take some true, true confessions as well from here. Scorpio and their person. Okay, that's a lot. All right, Scorpio, let's start with our first card here. I'm a completely new and better person because of you. So somebody feels I've changed now. Can we do this again? But the other person doesn't seem very happy with whatever has gone on in this connection till now. And they are wanting maybe to take back their power and control. But the other person is getting a bit stressed out and saying, hey, I've changed now. I'm a new person, better person. And all that is because of you. Do you re really believe I'm the one for you? There's a bit of doubt here from what I feel. I am angry with you, but really I'm angry at myself. So maybe somebody messed up in this connection and they have kind of redirected all their uh, anger with themselves on their partner and they're acknowledging it. Actually, the whole point is that I know that I messed up and um, I pretend to be angry with you, but in actuality, I know it's my fault. I'm angry with myself. Okay. 
I feared you were more obsessed with me rather than in love. It felt suffocating sometimes. I feared you were more obsessed with me. Maybe their way of showing love was like, you know, to possess their partner. And that kind of suffocated them and they decided to pull away and say, hey, I'd rather be, you know, taking care of myself than be in a connection with you. Because it was getting a bit suffocating. Uh, I want to reach out but scared of what you might say. I wish I could take back all the hurtful things I've said to you. So maybe in their anger they said a few things and now they're worried about that because they feel their partners turned their back on them now. My past of how I was raised affects how I act now in life. I got a whiff of your scent. It made me smile rem remembering you. Soon I plan on returning. Hope it can work this time. So like I said, somebody still has a hope of this rebirth of this connection. Still hoping, you know, that maybe if I go and apologize or say sorry, is there a chance for me? Is this window still open? You know, maybe this chapter hasn't totally shut down yet. Maybe, you know, with a sorry apology, I may get a little window to, you know, start this chapter once again. All right, that's, this is an interesting one. Let's see. Let's start your reading, Scorpio, and let's see where you guys are at. So let's see, person A. Uh, Seven of Pentacles and the Emperor Spirit. Seven of Pentacles and the Emperor. Seven of Pentacles and the Emperor. Seven of Pentacles and the Emperor. That's interesting. One more. What's the Seven of Pentacles and the Empress? I think somebody's left it to fate to say, hey, I want the truth. I want somebody who's authentic. Yeah, somebody's kind of got their sword up now and saying, hey, listen, I know what I want. I know what I'm worth now. I'm the Queen of Pentacles by myself. I do want love in my life. I do want uh, an equal partnership. I'm looking for the happily ever after and uh, I'm working towards it. I'm hoping that, you know, things will change, the flow of energy or whatever. One day I will find the person I'm looking for. But the kind of person I want has to be an honest, straightforward person. But I think in the past, whatever time investment they've spent with person B, uh, has not kind of really worked out till now and person A has now their sword up to say I want the best <laughs> I want what I want and nothing else and I'm very clear about the kind of person I want the emperor what's this emperor what's this emperor yes person A wants to be very sure about the kind of person now they want to invest with or in Yes, they, they've made up their mind, I think. I'm, I want, they are at crossroads right now. I don't think they've decided anything at the moment. But yes, they do, they are looking for forward movement. They do want to move ahead in their life. But they are kind of, they've got their sword up. They are looking at all their choices. Do I want a page of wands or a knight of wands or do I need the emperor in my life? And they've made up their mind, it's the emperor that I want. I'm not settling for anything less than because it's a waste of time. I am very self-sufficient on my own. I can take care of myself and everyone else around me. I'm the Queen of Pentacles now. Now I deserve somebody who will be on equal footing with me, where the flow of life can go smooth and we can have uh, stability together. So what happened in the recent past spirit that uh, this person has picked up their sword now? Uh, what, what made them become this clear about their objectives? 
the chariot in reverse and the page of swords in reverse yes yeah, something kind of uh, didn't wasn't really working out um somebody broke their heart i think in the past person b may have broken their heart here and things really came to a halt in this connection and that's when this i think person a decided to start guarding their energy they said hey i'm not going to deal with any immature energy anyone who's going to bring any kind of uh, you know nasty business to my life or any any low vibrational energy i'm i've decided that uh, i've learned my lesson here uh, page of swords in reverse yes this person is crystal clear of their objectives there is no fog around person a anymore they know exactly what they want exactly what kind of person they want and they are sh 100% sure that what they want in their life is pure love and commitment look at this look at these beautiful cards ace of swords ace of cups and the hierophant they are they are they have the guard up against anybody who is going to not be matching the energy that they are manifesting in their life why because of this heartbreak that was caused in the past how do they see person b now spirit how does person a view person a or this connection now eight of wands in reverse Why is eight of wands in reverse? Eight of wands in reverse. Ten of wands. 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 Yep, this relationship. Uh, I think they'd rather be alone. <laughs> to be honest, they would rather. They've spent a lot of time thinking about uh, person B now. They feel in their heart of hearts it's better not to move forward with this person. I think they've already. kind of checked out of this connection now they walked away from this connection they've put a lid on that cup of love which they used to give give away freely to person b now they feel this is too much of a burden to carry my god 10 of wands 10 of wands this is too much of a burden to carry because maybe in the past they got <coughs> they got they felt abandoned by person b they got left behind or they were may always be to feel in lack maybe there were arguments there were fights and uh, even though i think person a knows that person b is still interested and still keeps an eye on them and uh, they also know that person b still wants to come towards them with this little cup of love or an apology but they suspect there may be a little fish in that cup right so they find it really burdening now to even think of backtracking to this connection this is what i feel let's see what action they'll take later let's see how person b is doing person b has the 3 of wands in reverse spirit why is that 3 of wands in reverse yes they feel um, they're feeling totally down and out because they feel their partner has uh, turned their back on them now and gone off uh, maybe they were even told them that hey listen I don't want to be with you. Maybe they're not keeping it a secret and have already told person B that I don't want to be with you and it's over. You betrayed me in the past and I'm not interested now in coming back to you. That's giving person B a lot of anxiety. They can't sleep at night now because they feel their person has gone. But uh, even though. they are anxious they are worried they are still manifesting they are still kind of uh, hoping wishing praying that uh, you know this person will come back into their life and bring them happiness once again what else are they manifesting spirit what are they manifesting in this connection what are they manifesting in this connection they want to have victory with person a once again 
So what happened in the recent past spirit uh, for this person to feel like this? Star, what's the star? What happened in the recent past? What happened in the recent past? I think their hope got reignited that there may be a window open for having a rebirth of this connection. Uh, maybe they felt that there may be a small chance that I can recapture this commitment. I don't think they've said it. They are keeping their feelings hidden, but they are manifesting it big time. Yeah, the, al almost to a level of obsession now. A magician with the devil. This person is obsessive about somehow coming back into a family or a reunion or a place of stability with person A once again. They are, they are trying every trick in the book, even emotionally manipulating I think person A at the moment. But it's become like an obsession, yes. This is all they do, this is all they think about. Nine of swords, nine of swords, this is all at night especially when they can't sleep, this is all they think about. What do I do? What do I do? The obsessive thoughts of how I can manifest this connection back into my life. Hoping that is, you know, this chapter hasn't shut down completely. Okay, so how do they see uh, person A now? How does person B view person A? They see person A not putting in any effort. They, f they see person A as very stagnant in this connection and not putting in any work at all. Page of Pentacles in reverse. Why is that spirit? Why is the Page of Pentacles in reverse? Page of Pentacles in reverse. Page of Pentacles is clarified by the nine, Knight of Pentacles. So yeah, I mean they are, I mean off and on they may kind of connect, not connect, not like 100%, just by the way, keeping things open, but more or less very stagnant and maybe they also see person A as very busy with their own lives and juggling a lot of things and areas of their own life and not really making a move towards them anymore. Yes, they, they feel that uh, maybe my person, maybe, maybe they feel that person is na kind of not making any move towards them because of maybe a conflict which happened between the two of you, maybe some fight, recent fight or conflict, or maybe they feel their partner has a lot of, you know, suitors after them, maybe they feel their partner is juggling more than one person in their own life, maybe there are people competing for their attention and they see their partner not making any move towards them. Okay, uh, Eight of Pentacles, Eight of Pentacles in reverse. This is Eight of Pentacles. Yes, they, they see that person not putting in any effort and maybe going towards new love here. But they also know because they've been spying on person A, right? Person B has been keeping an eye on them. They know maybe through friends, family or whatever, they know that even though person A may be in demand and getting many offers, they know that person A is right now, right now not accepting any love offer from them or anyone else. Okay, so let's see what action person A wants to take. High Priestess in reverse. Why is that, the, that an action person A would like to take? Why is that an action? Yes, I think they, the only action I think person A is taking towards person B is um, very openly, without keeping it a secret, saying to person B, I'm happy about the way I am. I'm single. I am doing good. I can earn my own money. I feel good about my life now. And uh, I'm happy the way I am. I'm not interested. And they're not shy about telling them that either. It's not a secret. So this is what they want to tell person B. And person B, what action would they like to take towards person A? Eight of Cups. Why is that spirit? Eight of Cups. Eight of Cups. Mm. 
one second I have to do this again why is the action person B would like to take is the eight of cup spirit they want their partner to work to walk towards them they feel their partners in an is is in an emotionally empty space right now being single and whatever this is what they feel that they my part that my person a is in an emotionally empty space and uh, they are going to go towards their eight of i mean sorry the two of cups now so who better than me let me show them that i can be that king of wands to their you know uh this their cup and uh, they're hoping to take action and offer the stand of cups now eight of cups is not good enough for you sweetheart come to me come to me i'm the king of wands i can give you the ten of cups anything else spirit for scorpio anything else for scorpio I don't think right now I think person B will try every tactic in the book to make this happen they're trying to listen to their intuition they're trying to see what work I can put in if I can't put in any work if I can offer them something if uh, not that maybe I can fight for their love uh whatever said and done this person just wants to bring back this union but person a i think has checked out already and saying i am not interested i am happy where i am this was an intense reading scorpio what's going on anyways till next time then love and light take care namaste